Hi everyone, welcome to day six of Arthur Palooza Week. We're so excited to have you here and can't wait to show you what's next. This video was written by a volunteer, Joe Glaves, and it's all about spiders. Do you think spiders are scary? A lot of people do. It's pretty common to fear spiders, but I think spiders are actually pretty shy. You have to be really observant to find some spiders. They have some really amazing abilities too. Let's take a closer look. Let's start with some spider anatomy. They have an abdomen and a cephalothorax. On the abdomen, you can find their eyes, legs, fangs, and pedipalps. How many legs does a spider have? If you said eight, you're correct. Spiders have eight legs. They also usually have around eight eyes. And they're all fixed, which means they can't look side to side like we can. And the eyes that are facing the front are probably meant for hunting prey. And the ones on the side are probably meant to detect movement. They also have an exoskeleton. We have our bone structure inside our body. But arthropods have a hard shell around their body, protecting all the soft insides. What do spiders eat? Well, mostly insects. One spider can eat over 2,000 insects per year. And how do they catch those insects? Often with a web. All spiders have the amazing ability to spin silk. They have five to six different glands inside their abdomen to produce different types of silk. That silk can be stretchy, sticky, dry, whatever the spider might need at the time. It starts out as a liquid protein inside the body and then leaves through the spinnerets, kind of like toothpaste leaving a tube. And once it leaves the spinnerets, it becomes dry. The spider usually has six spinnerets in the back in pairs. So what are the uses of silk? Why does the spider have this amazing ability? Of course, many spiders can spin webs to catch prey. Different spiders produce different types of webs, from the beautiful circular webs of orb weavers to the messy tangle of the black widow. Not all spiders build webs. Other spiders may use silk to line their burrow, attach trap doors, and construct nests. Some spiders use the silk to wrap up their prey prior to eating. Spiders may release a drag line and secure it behind them while moving, sort of like a safety line or like a belay line when rock climbing. Silk is used to build egg sacs to protect spider eggs until hatching. After hatching, some spiderlings or baby spiders may release a silk line and be transported by the wind to a new home. Spiders can live in all sorts of different places, under logs, under rocks, in holes in the ground, or in their own web. Spiders are super neat and I wish that humans could make webs just like they do. Kind of like Spider-Man does. Let's see if we can make our own web. To make a giant spider web, you're going to need a large cardboard box or laundry basket, a box cutter, serrated knife, or scissors that will cut cardboard, a screwdriver or pair of scissors to create holes in the cardboard, some yarn or string, and some large thick tape. With the box intact, an adult should punch holes in the four sides of the box with a screwdriver or pair of scissors. Once the holes are made, cut off the back and front flaps of the box, leaving the frame with the punched holes. It will be a bit unstable until the web is made. You can also use a laundry basket that has holes on all four sides instead of making a frame from a cardboard box. Then you're going to want to cut lengths of yarn and make a needle with the tape. To weave the web, you can work with one length of yarn at a time and tie a knot to anchor the length of yarn in one hole. Weave like a spider and tie a knot in another hole when a length is too short to continue weaving. Continue with many yarn pieces to make a fabulous giant spider web. As you can see, I just used one long piece of string, so on the outside of my web, I had some extra string on the outside of the box. Now for your spider web, you might want to make your own spider. You can make one out of pom-poms and pipe cleaners, you can use a toy one, you can cut out one and color it. 
I ended up giving the spider web to my cat and seeing if she enjoyed it. Thank you for attending day six of Arthur Palooza Week. We hope you learned something and had a lot of fun. We'd love to see your spider webs or any spiders you have seen this summer. Please send images of your webs to enixon at highlandcenter.org to be featured on our website and Facebook page. If you enjoyed this video, please consider donating or becoming a member of the Highland Center. I'll see you tomorrow for day seven.